Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Brentford up against Tottenham Hotspur. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Number six, well, we're focusing on a player who just seems to get better and better, Hyung Min Son. What do you expect to see from him today, Stuart? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out of situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Great game. Thanks. Good game. Thanks. Cheers. Good luck. Thanks. Hey. Good luck. Good game out there. Good luck. Cheers. Thanks. Good game. Thank you. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Brentford. Well, it's a 4 3 3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. And Spurs will go with this starting 11. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Matt Doherty plays with Reggie Lon in the fullback positions. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. A potentially riveting 90 minutes in front of us. Tottenham Hotspur with the kickoff. Well, foul play, says the referee. <laughs> on and on he goes. Kane and dispossessed Christian Nurgard Christian Eriksen now here's Nurgard Eriksen and beyond the last defender offside Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Oh, nice ball. And the decision is one of offside here. Harry Kane, Son, Kane, he's found a pocket of space, Kane, and there it is, the opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it, and he does well to read the flight of the ball, to be fair almost just cushions it beyond the goalkeeper and that seemed to catch him off guard a really good controlled finish so underway again here 1-0 the score Harry Kane 
Now Son. In position. And still danger here. Oh, he's done it. But hang on. Offside is the verdict here. It's not going to stand. Well, you can tell he thought he was onside here. But the assistant, I think, got it absolutely right. Janert. Extremely sloppy in possession. And giving it away. Christian Nurgard. What a shocking pass, really. Ericsson. Promising sequence. Christian Nurgard. Well, really intense pressure applied. Must be! And the keeper more than equal to the task. Corner kick taken by Christian Eriksen. It comes to nothing in the end. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. And played in with haste. And an effective clearance. And the flag has gone up just when he looked ready to pounce, perhaps. Well, he was just too static in the end, which is a shame because that was a dangerous situation. Well, getting close to the half-time interval and the story so far, they're not really making home advantage count. Stuart, your take. Well, I've been a little disappointed with their attack in play. It's all been a bit too slow. If they can pass it into their front areas with more quality, switch play quicker and be more positive in 1v1 situations, I think they'll get back into this. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Could be threatening. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Reguilon. And the electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. A very good tackle. Janert. Here's Nurgard. That is that for the first half here. Well, Harry Kane certainly bringing his influence to bear on that first half. Stuart, what did you think about his performance? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Henry. And options in the centre. Janert. Here's Nurgard. Eriksen. Wonderful tackle. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. 
Tony. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. I must say, this looks promising. Crossing possibilities. No foul. Spurs advantage. Well, he's retrospectively awarded the free kick, having let it flow initially. And he whips it in. And a no-nonsense clearance. Kane. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. Javier. Well, Spurs now in potentially a dangerous position. Son pulls it back. It should be. It has to be, surely. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, let's take another look. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? It's a great turn and shot. What a good goal that is. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Second goal for them here. Ericsson. Christian Nurgard. Janert. They've won back possession. Well, there it is. Spurs have controlled the possession and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. Closing him down. Thank you. And they're making a change. So the final whistle almost upon us. And this is not exactly what the home fans had in mind when they arrived at the ground today, Stuart. Well, there are two main reasons why they're losing this game. Firstly, they've not shown enough desire to close the opposition down. And secondly, they haven't defended their box well enough. It's been a poor defensive display. Well, not giving him any breathing room. And he read it superbly. Ten minutes to go then. Johan Wiesa. Good technique displayed. Oh no, not even close to hitting the target that time. Davis. 
Romero. Matt Doherty. Oh, you can absolutely sense the frustration growing in the opposition camp. They can't get near the ball. Doherty has it. Perfect example of how to execute a slide tackle. This attack looks highly promising. It is to be a throw-in. Lucas Moura. A Spurs free kick it's going to be. Doherty, it looks promising, that's all they can conjure for now. Frank Onyeka. Here's Nurgard. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today, beaten to the ball in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out. Really, no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well, he scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.